This is a story about things not going according to plan. I want to go back, Nick. I can't do this. For this video, I convoy up with a few friends in an attempt to drive down the Baja Peninsula together here in Mexico. So currently we're driving this pretty long off-road track. Going on adventures solo is amazing, but doing it with other people is a whole other thing entirely. With other people, you feel a sense of community, you have a support network, and I feel like that gives you the confidence to take more risks, to try new things, because you know that there's always going to be someone there to bail you out or winch you out in the worst case. Over an hour on this really, really rough road. <sighs> 15 minutes later, things started going south. The Jambo and Albatross crews managed to get up this tricky section pretty easily, but Odyssey is much more top-heavy than those two and just not as nimble. It started out okay, but then suddenly, shoot, I felt my car with me, Vilk, and all of my possessions in it tilting dangerously to the side. My hands were shaking on the steering wheel. My foot was shaking on the gas pedal. Odyssey was tipped at such a sharp angle, I felt like she would topple over to the side. We decided to take Vilk out of the car while Nick helped me navigate the tricky terrain. Backwards just a little bit. We're going to put now? you back in the right trajectory. Am I going back now? Yes. We tried one way and then we tried another way. But Odyssey just wasn't managing it. What terrified me the most was the possibility of Odyssey rolling on her side because I was stuck at such a sharp angle. Eventually, I decided to ask Nick to just help me back okay, out good, of good. there. I want to go back, Nick. You want to go back? I can't do this. No, I'm too scared. Turn your tire left. Like this? Yep. More. Yep. Good. Go, go, go. Yeah, make it straight. Go back now. There, you feel it? You're, you're shredding. You're shredding. Oh. <sighs> yeah. I'm going back. Those guys' cars are way lighter than Odyssey. They're much, much lighter. And I think they're also much more confident off-road drivers. I am just... I'm one of those people that with anything to do with Odyssey, with the truck, if there is even 1% chance of something scary happening off-road, I'm just not willing to take the risk, you know? I was relieved to be heading back into less technical terrain, albeit on my own. Before we parted ways, we agreed that we would all meet up in a small town called Punta Prieta. That's our meeting point. And I'm really curious to see who's going to make it there first. Is it going to be me, despite the fact that I had to go all the way back and all the way around, or the guys who took uh, the off-road track through the mountains? Well, they're not here yet. Seems like I am the first one. <laughs> <laughs> that day, we continued driving until finally we reached one of the most magical places I've ever camped at, halfway down the Baja Peninsula. You know, in places like this, in the company of great people, you tend to quickly forget about the things that went wrong. But whenever you look back on your life, I feel like the stories of overcoming challenges are the stories we will always remember best. These stories, along with their struggle and drama and uncertainty, become the very stories we tell our families and friends once we're back in the safe harbour of home. For more adventures from around the world, make sure you like my page on Facebook. See you in the next episode.